All right, y'all. We got our pork chops in our pan with our green beans and our baby carrots. And now we got our apple pie filling on top. Now, if you haven't tried it, pork chops with applesauce and cinnamon is such a delicious, delicious meal. So we're just using this apple pie here because it already has, you know, the brown sugar you would use, the cinnamon and the apples. All right, I'm adding some red onion slices right on top of my apples here. Apple and onion is such a delicious combination. So good if you haven't tried it. Once you try this recipe, you are never gonna wanna make pork chops another way. This is so delicious. And we got this all in one pan. All right, now I'm bringing in my butter here and my scooper. This is gonna be for my sides here. I'm just gonna put some dabs of butter to get these veggies nice and soft, nice and cooked up. I think we could use a little bit more small little scoops in here. Now you can pour your butter melted. You can do whatever you like. I just like to do it this way with the scooper. I think it's real convenient. And then it's gonna make these veggies, like I said, real tender, real soft, great flavor. I'm coming in with my pink Himalayan salt. You don't have to use this, you can use regular salt. I'm just making this kind of a fancy meal. You know, we dolled up our pork chops here and now I'm dolling up my veggies a little bit. Ooh, yum. And you know what, I'm gonna put a little bit of this with the sweet and salty that's gonna be real good too. Mm -hmm. All right, now over here on my carrots, I'm gonna use a little bit of brown sugar. They're gonna be sweet, kind of like our uh, pork chops in the middle there. A little bit of cinnamon on top of these. It's coming out a little more than I was thinking, but we got a lot of carrots there, so that's gonna work just fine. Now over here on this side, we have got our cream of mushroom soup, and this is gonna be right here for our green beans. I love green beans with that cream of mushroom. And now I'm gonna put some almond slivers on here because I said we're getting real fancy right now with this meal. Woo! Marty, I think that's about, I think that's about it. Well, what else do we need? Nah, we already have the it soup. needs it, yeah. You know what? Yeah, that's perfect. Let's sprinkle in just a little bit more of these mm. pieces here. That's gonna taste real good with these green beans and that cream of mushroom. Yum! Y'all, look at this beautiful, this is like practically a gourmet meal. This, this looks so good, it was so easy. One pan came together so quick. All right, I'm about to put this in the oven, 400 degrees. And you know, normally a pork chop might take 10 minutes to cook if it's this, uh, this thickness, because I think these are about three quarters of an inch. But because we've got our apples and everything on here, I think it's gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So we're gonna check on it after about 10 minutes. We're gonna see how it's doing 15. I think it's gonna be more like 20 to 25 minutes for everything in here to cook down. And you wanna use your thermometer to measure your pork chop internal temperature to 165. All right, we're gonna put this in the oven. See you in a bit. All right, y'all, look at our beautiful one pan dinner here. Oh my goodness, it smells incredible. Our pork chops, we used a little thermometer. We saw that they are cooked to perfection. We got our green beans here with that savory mushroom soup. We've got our little uh, brown sugar cinnamon carrots. I cannot wait to get myself a nice little chop here. I got my plate ready. All right, I'm gonna get underneath my chop so I can, ooh, yeah, I see what I got one right here with my apples. Look at that, it's perfect. Got our onions, our apples, just a little bit of that pork chop so you can see how perfectly cooked it is. I'm gonna grab some of my green beans to throw on here. Ooh, boy. All right, and now I'm just gonna pick up some carrots for my plate here too. Yum. Y'all, this was so easy. We just cooked this 
to absolute perfection. It smells absolutely incredible. I can't wait to taste this. Mm, mm, mm. I am so excited. Oh yeah, I love a pork chop. Mm -hmm. Get myself a nice little bite here. See that, it's all, all cooked through. Oh, I was gonna say, we did end up cooking this for about 35 minutes. We just need a little bit more time with all those apples on there, all that moisture. All right, I'm gonna take a delicious bite of this. I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. This pork chop with this apples, you have got to try this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hope we don't have any cancellations for dinner tonight. No way, not with this.